Hey guys, so this is the first time I'm doing a uh, pa a solo where it's being recorded. <laughs> I'm recording myself, and this is super weird. I'm not gonna lie, but I realize that um, a lot of people want to hear more solos and a little bit more of what's happening behind the scenes. So I figured, what better time than now, and to do this this new format for me, looking at myself. <laughs> this is so fucking weird, but. So I, um, we are headed into fourth quarter, which all of us know, you know, it's holiday. There's a ton of stuff going on. Halloween is just a few weeks away. We start, I start my first set of Christmas installs is, um, we're going to be doing over Halloween and, uh, we are going to be up in Morgan Hill. Dave's coming up with me. We are also going to film a little for the, uh, MC design Academy at the same time most of the filming we're doing is up there right now within um Masson A because she has all the stuff she has all the props risers uh contextualizers all the flowers plants whatnot and it's real life inventory um I've said this before that you know a lot that there are not a lot of merchandising videos out there what is out there is like this perfect scenario of this perfect amount of inventory and here's the display and ta-da you know, and we all know you're in your stores and it's like, you're sitting with a million SKUs and you're standing there like, what do I do with this now? So we're doing setups and I'm, they're not pre-set up before we start. I'm literally, we're starting with a blank space. We're starting the architecture. We are building in the product. I'm talking you through the whole thing, including the, I don't know what we're doing with this. So we're going to put it to the side. We'll come back to that. Um, so we'll be up there doing that. And then when we get back, I have a couple local holiday setups, Rock Paradise and um, Serendipity and Muse House. And then we start Bristol Farms. And, you know, I know I talk about this for those of you who follow me on the stories for MC Design Collaboration. Um, these are overnights. Bristol Farms is our largest retailer. We work for them one time of year. Uh, which is always holiday. And there are 14 locations that we go in at um, one or three in the morning. We try and do two when we can. Um, they're large stores. This is not a little bit of decor. This is, we're talking thousands of yards of garland and it's up over the wine area. It's each cash register has a lit wreath. Each end cap has lit garland and it doesn't stop there. There's we've created spoon and ribbon decor for them, which is, um, you know, when it was, the job was brought to me eight, nine years ago. Um, you know, the director then for marketing did not want it to be snowman Santa. He wanted a decor that would make the food, the star of the show. So we came up with just a very simple wooden spoons that are tied together with this beautiful uh, burlap wire ribbon and gingerbread men. And it's food driven. It's there. It's pretty, but it doesn't take away from what's going on. The beautiful meat counter, the beautiful bakery cases, like, you know, it's, it's lovely because it's, it's, it is, it does make the food, the star of the show. This schedule, though, I will tell you, because this is the where my worlds start to collide. Retail, it's all Christmas. And with the gift shows in January, this is also when my gift show setups start. So I just got back from Vegas. Stephen Young is opening a showroom there. I know a lot of people are super excited about it. It is a massive space. I think it's 37,000 square feet. Um, so when you're dealing with a big open box, um, the first phase of it was setting the floor. So we got the floors set with the fixturing. We have soft placed on sticky notes, what line is going to go where, because when you're setting a floor in retail, it's very much the same as setting it up as wholesale. It is, um, there's a flow of product of how you want the flow to go. So it, it does seem somewhat seamless in where you're shopping and where we are guiding you with how we floor, set floors. Um, so it was supposed to be a nine day trip. It was three days because we got a lot done and then there was nothing else for me to do. There's no product there yet. I will go back um, post Thanksgiving. So 
my worlds are kind of colliding now holiday for retailers. So I will, my days will start to look a little bit like this. Um, I will start to have to do what I, everyone laughs at me, sleep training, which is basically putting myself to bed at like five or six o'clock at night and waking up earlier and er setting my alarm earlier and earlier and earlier. Um, because when we're actually doing setups, I will be having to go to bed at five or six o'clock at night. Yes, I have blackout curtains because I mean, even though time, thank God time has changed the, the, uh, we've turned our clocks back. Thank God, because you know, it's still fucking light outside. So we have blackout curtains. Um, I will take whatever sleep aid I can to get myself to sleep. The alarm will go off at 1130 or midnight. You get up, you have a cup of coffee, just like it's six, five in the morning, whatever. And then we drive to our first location and my team all will meet me there. Everyone from this team has been with me. Thank God for, I want to say the last, a few of them have been there for the last four years, a couple of them, this is their second year. So everyone knows what they're doing, which is amazing because we get there, we kind of have a little powwow and then everyone breaks off and starts doing their thing. And I, I, I'm so lucky and so grateful for this team because, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of balls in the air. And, and, um, you know, I, I like getting on the ladders and hanging garland and doing it, but I really, I need to be able to be eyes on the whole situation. So Dave is there. Uh, my team is there. Um, there's scaffolding, there are ladders there. Are, I mean, that's the reason why we have to do it in the middle of the night, because, um, honestly, there's so much stuff going all over the place that it would be, um, you know, a nightmare for customers and trying to, uh, people shop around what's going on. So we will ideally will knock off if it's one big store or we go to a second store. We start at 1 a.m. We'll go to the second store at 3 a.m. And then we are usually off the floors uh, by 536. Some of the stores open at six. We may still be there doing a couple of things, but ideally we are off the floors. So this is where most people go home and go to sleep. I don't because I have other stores I need to go to. And to be honest with you, like I don't want to go home and go to sleep because I'm super afraid that when five or six o'clock at night comes at night, that I'm not going to be able to sleep. So I will continue on with the drinking of coffee. And then I will go to most often Stephen Young's because we are starting to set up in Los Angeles because even though Sandy or LA Vegas is opening, I still need to go to Los Angeles because Los Angeles show is still happening. So I will go there or I will go to another retailer that we're setting up their holiday. Sometimes I'll bring someone from my team with me, but most of the time it's me just going to another location. I will try and muster it out as best as I can. You know, I really start kind of going downhill around three o'clock, um, come home, make dinner and get him back in bed. And this is, I feel so bad for our dogs because our dogs, you know, at this time of year, like we've totally screwed up their sleep. So they, you know, we leave to go to work at one in the morning, they go back to bed. Dave will go home and go back to sleep. So they all get back in bed and go to sleep. And then we, we spend our day doing whatever. And then we all get back in bed at five o'clock at night. The dogs are so, so confused about what time it is to eat. It's hilarious. It's hilarious, but it's also not because then once we're done, they're still wanting dinner at one o'clock in the afternoon. It's just, it's a whole thing. So, you know, I will, I will try, you know, have dinner, have a glass of wine, get it back in bed and we do it all again. You know, I am surviving at this time of year on mm, four hours of sleep or so. This year is going to be interesting because this year we uh, have the podcast and I didn't last year, I had the podcast, but it wasn't what it is now. And now that it's a real job and now that it's like, really, we have, we have sponsors, we have things that have to do, we have to keep up the content. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how some of these conversations go, the more and more tired I, I get. Um, because you, you really, I mean, I'm 56 and you're not surviving on a normal eight hours of sleep. You're, you're not surviving on a normal schedule. So you start to get a little wacky. Thank God it's only for two weeks. Um, and then we will be wrapped up by the week before Thanksgiving, which will be great. I'll have Thanksgiving off, which is, you know, since we've been doing this and because all my, because everyone's holiday sets are happening earlier, 
it's kind of nice for the first time, probably in the last five years, I've had Thanksgiving day, the days before and a couple of days off after home, which is rare because we all know at retail, you have Thanksgiving with your family and then you're off to the races and you no longer, you know, have a balance. Like you, you are in your stores and you are in them full time. Uh, so I, you know, uh, I, not many of you know this, I've given up some clients as we've gone along. One of my clients I've given up is Peking Handicraft, who I absolutely adore, but it is, it was two part. The reason why I, um, walked away one is because, um, usually I would leave Dave and I would leave to Atlanta to set up the Peking showroom in Atlanta, um, the Sunday after Thanksgiving. So, um, the travel is really it's going to be long and grueling with the Stephen Young showroom. So I opted to step aside from that job. Also, the other side of the coin is being with a client for that long. Um, honestly, the Peking has collections that we'll always go forward with. Uh, Lodge is one of them. Camps in that. Lake Life. And uh, Coastal. So all the beach. And then Tween. And the two that have been the most challenging to reinvent season after season have been camp and coastal because there's only so many times you can have surfboard or paint waves on the window or, you know, for camp, like create a tent or a cot, or, I mean, there's, I mean, I've been doing it for them 18 years and it's 18 years of reinventing that. And each time the goal is to one up what we're doing, but there, there are, um, there is a certain point and that's why I left anthropology because I could not reinvent the same four walls anymore. I just couldn't see past it anymore. It was, it was too, ch and that's the point that I hit with Peking. So it kind of worked out. I mean, it didn't work out, but it, it was the decision I needed to make to step away because I will be, instead of going to Atlanta the Sunday after Thanksgiving, I will be headed back to Vegas um, on the twenty. 8th or 29th um back to finish off just start the finishing off of Stephen young all the product will be there by that point the fixtures will be ready to start placing merchandise and that's really where it starts to get um you know my balance will be completely off because i will be in vegas away from dave and the girls from november 28th or 29th all the way up to i think i come back um the 22nd of december for christmas i'll stay here for a couple of days and then i go back and i won't come back home until february the 2nd and i'm not going to lie i'm a i'm a little worried about it not worried i'm a little anxious about it it's hard being away from him he's my best friend and i don't have big social circles i don't go out a lot like that that is my social circle it's my comfort that's my balance that's my support system and to be on a job site and working through big jobs it's hard enough when you're home you know your focus is kind of in different places it's hard to be centered and be at home because your head is still on the job site this will be the added part of it will be i'll be in vegas and um as i learned this last the, the last week when i was there is that poured cement floors are no fucking joke to work on. And I mean, you're walking back and forth on cement floors and it's like, you know, then you get back in a car to drive home for six hours. Thanks to the traffic. Um, my whole body locked up. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to stay balanced both in my head and physically well being on a very grueling timeline, but it is in that same breath. It's super exciting to be part of this project um it's super exciting to see you know I, i've said it everyone knows my favorite thing is store openings that is literally my superpower i love blank spaces i love nothing more than to like set and and you know set the floor or the architecture set the display step back look at it it's like in it is such a uh i don't know it's the most amazing fulfilling feeling um, to step away when it's done and to look at it. And, and this is no different. It's just, it's a very, very large space. Um, and then once that's done, I will move on to sales producers and downstairs to artful trading. So I will have three showrooms now in the Las Vegas market. Um, so it, it's, it's a little, 
it's a little overwhelming. And, you know, if you follow me on stories, you can follow along with what we're doing and how it's coming along. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to film a lot from Stevens. Like I, he really wants it to be surprised and, you know, to be quite honest, so do I. So I might show little bits and pieces, but it certainly won't be like, here's the display um, because it really I want it to be a surprise for everybody when they go there because it is a big deal. I mean, Stephen going to Las Vegas is a really big deal. And I know there is, I said this in a past podcast, I know there's hesitation and people are worried about him taking away the business, but I will tell you this again, I'll say this again and again and again, is that having competition there is good for the whole ecosystem Stephen Young bringing in lines that aren't there already. Some have been there and they've had to move their showrooms back into Stevens. But having these new lines there means more buyers come into the building, which means more buyers walking the floors, which means more buyers walking your showrooms. And if I can say anything, I hope that this, I hope that the love of competition, I hope that people really want to step up the game in their showrooms because Steven's coming in because if you've been in his showrooms you know they are phenomenally done they're they are they are they do a top notch job with their showrooms and presentations from everything from the book room to glitterville to the, the personal carry like it is a top notch and i i hope I hope that other showrooms step up their game and i really hope that people understand that it's not a bad thing it's a really good thing and it's really really great to have all these eyes on the building and that are going to come coming in that um come in to see steven yes but they will be there for the show so i you know i'm personally super excited about all this so so that is it for me i just wanted to put that out there um i hope with everybody going into season i really hope that you all keep your balance and you all um, really are mindful of your time, your space, your uh, mindset, because um, we all know fourth quarter is grueling. It is my favorite personal favorite time of year. I've, you know, I'm, I think partly is because I'm a Christmas baby, but I'm like already um, burning my Frasier for candle. I'm already playing Christmas carols. I'm not allowed to play them in the house until it's officially Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I can play them out here in my little office. Um, but for you guys, my advice is please keep that balance. Um, keep your, um, keep your balance, but, but keep your mind balanced as well. Like I, I I know how crazy it gets. I've been in the retail floors at Christmas time. And I also know that um, there, that it is a super special time and I'm excited to see how everybody handles it and what you guys all do.